everyone, Lau here. Yeah, today is the 6th of December, so welcome to the 6th day of Vlogmas. And yeah, like uh, today is Friday. Well, it's also the St. Nicholas Day. Like in German, we, um, we call it uh, Nikolaus, uh, where you like you, you clean your boots and then you put it in front of the door and overnight the Nikolaus, the St. Nicholas, comes and puts some sweets or some small gifts inside. But as I'm living all by my side alone here, there's no one else like putting stuff in my boots. But anyways, this is anyways more a thing for children. And I'm pretending not to be a child anymore now. <laughs> um, so it's Friday and of course I'm heading to work after, fin after filming this. Um, and then like in the evening, I'm um, going by train to uh, visit Michi in Düsseldorf and um, this weekend I will be at the comic convention, uh, Comic Con Dortmund, which is like, uh, it was like insane yesterday, I wasn't able to edit anything so I had to pack my luggage, I will probably insert now some footage of what my luggage looks like. Um, yeah, and honestly, the convention hasn't even started and nothing is going as planned. Not in terms of cosplays or anything, because I didn't make any new cosplays for this convention, but I was supposed to have like a cosplay partner on Saturday. We would have been like um, Satine from uh, Star Wars um, The Clone Wars and Obi-Wan Kenobi. So like these as a couple, I really would like to have some shooting pictures and um, would have nice to have like uh, someone else which I have not spent the convention with like walking around um, taking photos with and just yeah but um, this person is no not coming um, anyways can happen work has happened and bit so yeah but now I'm kind of all by my own on this Saturday of the convention, which is really a bummer because Michi just comes with me on Sunday and then I heard some other people might be there and I asked but they're not there and then I heard someone else will be there on Saturday, which I know and now she's also just there on Sunday, so honestly, like I have like switched cosplays completely so I will bring on Saturday, I will be there I honestly considered not going because like spending a convention alone is so boring uh, which I just experienced uh, uh, last October at the convention Max in Berlin where I was on Saturday alone which was like super stupid boring but anyways I will give it a next try I will bring my Alice in Wonderland costume on Saturday with me and for Sunday uh, then I considered bringing Satine on Sunday so together with Michi uh, she will also be in a Star Wars costume she will be in a episode 2 Padme outfit but we like honestly I've worn sateen so often this year and I would have worn it for having a shooting together with Obi-Wan Kenobi but it's not happening so I will bring like another Ahsoka with me for Sunday I will bring the Ahsoka um, like the Untold Tales the book version Ahsoka with me because I've just worn this once this year and next year we'll probably really dedicate it towards like all the um, season 7 outfits so Probably this will be then for now the last time wearing it. So okay, I've switched the cosplay, but this still makes the Saturday like a whole mess. Whatever, but you probably thinking like, okay, um, so you won't be here this weekend, right? So I won't be able to film like the advent calendar unboxing each of the days. So I will do that now, all four days, like today and then for Saturday, Sunday, and for Monday, because I'm just returning Monday evening here, um, today. And I, but I will split it and you will see it in like each um, day of the video. So you'll probably see me then wearing the same style over and over again. Okay, let's just start with the Primark Bobble Advent Calendar. And today is day six. Okay, can't find it. Ah, okay right on Mickey and Minnie's heads. Probably, I think, by the end of 
this advent season the, the calendar will be completely destroyed. Aha, okay. Oh, this is really disappointing. Hmm. The hanger is missing, like the string. How can I hang it? Okay, I will figure it out. Figure it out, but let's just first. Um, It is a light brown color. It looks a little bit lavender on camera. It's um, it's kind of nice. It has these gold stripes, these gold um, patterns on it. And yeah, to be able to hang it somewhere here on the tree, I definitely need something. Okay, let's just do it with this, which was just lying uh, next to the camera. I hope this doesn't uh, happen to the others because this would be really disappointing because I want to hang it right after I unbox it. I don't like the green string but let's just keep it with this for now. Uh, where can I put it? Where can I put it? Where can I put it? Mm -hmm. Honestly don't even know. Here, maybe here. Disney mystery pins and let's see what what the Nikolaus the Saint Nicholas brought me for day six if I can figure out where it is oh it's at this uh, fluffy material one so this is the number six okay see it's kind of big and I won't um, like make this mistake again and not look at it first let's look at it first Oh, it's so cute! It is Bambi and Feline, her, his um, girlfriend. It's again one from the couples uh, set. And it's super springy, it's not, not, not wintry like at all. These flowers, oh this is a really beautiful pin. Uh, fun fact, Bambi was the very first movie I ever watched in cinema. I mean, it was the very first Disney movie for me. And it was also the very first movie I ever watched in cinema. And I honestly do not really remember uh, being there and watching it. But in my family were uh, like uh, telling the story that I was so scared that I was like, um, like jumping from my, from my seat under the seat and hiding because of like the big fire or like whatever scared me in this movie. So I was not happy with Bambi back then when I was, I don't know, three years old. Ah. Um, wherever. Yeah. So let's uh, now jump into the next part of the video, which will be, I think, uh, my Star Wars Eater bag. So you will see a lot of Star Wars buttons and pins and stuff that I collected last uh, Star Wars Celebration and also like got on the interwebs. So until then, yes! Hello everyone, Lau here and uh, in this video I want to start uh, showing you my Eater bags. Yeah, uh, I think I have already told you like when in the beginning of the videos I always like un um, unbox my uh, Disney pin from one of my advent calendars. I already told you that I um, put uh, Disney pins or generally pins and stuff in my eater bags. Um, and maybe you're asking yourself, wait there, what is an eater bag? An eater bag is um, like it can be a backpack or, or just uh, any kind of bag um, with a clear front. And behind that you can put stuff that you like um, from the fandoms or movies or whatever you want to do and this comes actually from Japan 
uh, the name is kind of strange, like Ita means like uh, that it hurts you and back is back. So why does this back hurt you? It's because, well, it comes from the otaku um, like uh, scene in Japan, like when they are totally into manga and anime and they decorate like they deck up um, their, their Ita backs with like like one specific character from an anime, for example. And then someone who is like seeing this person in Japan and is not into uh, the um, otaku culture, then it kind of hurts him to see that colorful popping back with all this different deco stuff inside. That's why it's called Ita back. Kind of strange, but this is what I found out. Apparently I didn't know before. Um, yeah, and um, it orig originated as a site in Japan from the uh, otaku, so manga anime, freaks culture. <laughs> and it has uh, come over to um, Europe and obviously also the US at the manga anime conventions. They are first saw the Ita bags, now you can also buy them online. And um, as I'm not into manga anime, there were like um, maybe some years when I just, I have seen them and I think they were like, I like them, but I haven't started my own because I was not into manga anime, so it was not interesting. But then I got the idea, I can also put like other stuff in there. I can put Disney stuff in there. I could put the fandoms or the characters that I love in there. From Star Wars or from like Jurassic Park, whatever. So um, yeah, this year, uh, this year spring, I got my first Ida back, which is this one. Uh, yeah, it's very bold. It's very uh, super shiny. This almost neon yellow green um, shiny one here um, and when I was in America and Disney World I started to get um, pins like Disney pins to get to put in there and also at celebration I acquired a lot of pins and buttons and then I started um, yeah decorating them and now I want to show you my um, Star Wars Ita bag that I have right now. I'm not 100% happy with it, but um, there's a lot of stuff in which um, means something to me. So I just briefly show it to you right now and then I will show it to you like in detail. Um, most of the stuff, most of especially of the buttons, I, oops, sorry, I got as freebies at uh, the Star Wars Celebration, which is the biggest Star Wars convention in the world, which I attended last April when I was um, over in the US. And um, this is kind of a really, really nice thing that I don't know if it's generally a thing uh, at American conventions or it is just for Star Wars Celebration, that like everyone um, prepares their own um, little freebies, like often it's like buttons or badges, whatever you would call them. Uh, some also do enamel pins and um, like other like small goodies and stuff and they just uh, come to you and say hey I have a little gift for you so that's a little bit of a promotion for him like for example if he's an artist or something and also you can get like little um, little freebies and they are all like of course like with your favorite characters because for example when I was in my Ahsoka cosplay then I got this Ahsoka button because um, uh, he told me or she told me, uh, oh, I like your costume here. You get you get a button. So Yeah, this is um, a lot of stuff which is on here The special thing about Ida bags is you can also again change it as you see there is like a pocket in here And I decided to um, put the pins buttons and all the decoration stuff like on this on a separate sheet and that like put it directly to the back because then I can exchange it and I can also change it to um, other um, fans very quickly I can it takes some time to get it out but it's just yeah I put mine on these um, foam like like craft foam um, material sheets uh, I would honestly um, uh, tell you to get a little bit thinner one, not this thick because it's the kind of difficult to put um, the thin bags then on. Um, yeah, and now I will switch the camera and show you uh, exactly what's on this sheet. Yeah, 
let's just start over here with this giant button. Um, I, if I am able, then I will link all the people that they, um, which which gave me these buttons because they have also like small informations at the edges. So here's a very nice um, button of uh, Ahsoka in her like uh, Rebels, uh, Ahsoka the White version, and also with the Convory um, on the pin. I actually also, I think I got this button when I was in my Ahsoka the White costume, which is like a super nice memory. And I remember who gave me this pin because um, she is a um, cool Honda Onaka cosplayer. Yeah. Um, underneath here we have um, a button from one of my favorite podcasts from the Dorky Diva show. It's um, yeah, it's Savannah and um, Brian. They had a meetup, and I attended the meetup, and then I got this button. Um, first. I go through all the freebies. So this is also a freebie. I got a Star Wars Celebration. I said that this one as well. Um, this one as well. And this one is also from one of my favorite podcasts. It's from Sky, Talk Sky Talkers, which had a panel, which had a podcast uh, panel there. And they um, gave out these pins. This is the logo of them. This one I got from, um, from a girl who said she, she knows me and she uh, knows me from Instagram. So that was also really, really nice. Um, this kind of freaky pork Ahsoka mashup pin uh, also got for free at Celebration. And uh, this one is actually the second one from this set from the Dorky Diva show. Yeah, I think these are, oh no, and here, this one's actually even older. I got this at the Ahsoka Lives Day back in 2017. Uh, from Amy Radcliffe. Amy Radcliffe is a host at Celebration and she also um, re um, yeah, released the book and um, maybe you know her from also from the podcast um, Lattes with Leia. This pin I got um, yeah, at the Ahsoka Lives Day in 2017, Orlando. This was also a freebie and um, he was also in his like holiday Rex, whatever he would call that cosplay with this Hawaiian uh, flower wreath around his neck and he gave me this pin so he some people also do like enamel pins um, to give out for free so this was so so fun so great memories from celebration but also other stuff um, this and this these are like uh, super cute versions of Ahsoka and Ventress I got them at Etsy at a very nice Etsy shop um, I also have something else from this shop so she um, draws the characters in these very nice cutie forms. And I also have this case here. I will definitely link the shop. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, I could actually just get out the card. So apparently it's Hipster Sparrow or Plushy, plushy Me something. plushy shop on on Etsy so she makes like these um, these cute things and I got these two from her yeah this one this is a uh, Leia zoom zoom pin and this was uh, <laughs> I got this for my very first uh, pin trade uh, which I did in the art of animation hotel which was our hotel in Walt Disney World I traded it for I don't even remember what it was um, some mystery pin that I had and um, it is probably a fake. I'm like 100% sure it's a fake because it's a soft enamel. You can see that. But I didn't care. Like it was Leia and I wanted to have her like in this um, very funny uh, Zoom Zoom version. So yeah. What else do I have here? This one is just, a, I don't know, I got it at a uh, flea market for free. <laughs> this pin. It's just BB-8. Um, as you saw, like my background is orange and orange is one of like orange and blue are the main colors in this one because I have a lot of Ahsoka who has orange skin. Here is the, um, the Phoenix Squadron uh, logo is also an orange here. There's a lot of orange and that's why I put the BB-8 on here as well because he's also orange. Um, yeah, what else do I have here? This is an official like should say Disney but it's an official Star Wars Disney pin one of the um, like limited ones from Celebration 
I did not buy it at Celebration because uh, there was no way I could go into the Celebration store where they were sold. Um, so I got this afterwards on eBay, which was probably more expensive, but I definitely wanted to have the Hera one. I was super happy. I did not get my hands on the Ahsoka one, but I, uh, with my badge and my registration, I was able to get this uh, Ray pin. It's also one of the official um, Disney Star Wars pins, which were released um, for Star Wars Celebration. And you were just able to get this one if you um, pre-registered um, for this pin right when you bought the ticket. So... Yeah, then I have like two official and uh, two more official Disney pins. This one and this one, they are from Star Tours, as you can see, which is my probably my favorite attraction in like all uh, Disney because we already discovered it when we were in Disneyland back in 2015 and we loved it and we still like it, although it's not new anymore, but they has like added new stuff in there. And as we are super huge Star Wars fans, so it's it's great and i was so disappointed that i didn't find any star tours pins like in um, disney world and hollywood studios are nowhere to be found so i got these two which are kind of super old and um, they are really from when pin trading just was very new they are from i think 2003 or something and here is also already missing some like it looks like like bottom like um planets which were in here some pearls but uh, and this one as well also a very old pin and um, I got this at celebration at a like there was a seller who sold like uh, Star Wars pins and yeah when I found these I was super happy that I got them because I couldn't get my hands on any Star Tours pins in Walt Disney World yeah and my absolutely favorite pin on this whole like in this whole Ida bag is this one it is a fantasy pin of uh, the Rebels version of Ahsoka and um, like uh, the, the um, back behind her looks almost like it would be like glass kind of thing. Uh, it is hard enamel and um, yeah the back shows the world between worlds. It is the scene when she returns or when Ezra pulls her out of the fate from Vader. Uh, <laughs> fight with Vader uh, into the world between worlds and um, it is super, it is so beautiful. Uh, I got this on Etsy as well from Stardust Pins. She does like so beautiful um, pins, like especially Star Wars pins. Uh, I can show you another one which looks almost the same. It's just um, a little bit different, which is this one. And I honestly cannot decide which one I like more because in this one the background looks like more realistic as the world between worlds really looks like in uh, Star Wars Rebels and Ahsoka pops more like out because of the black background but I decided for the Ita bag to go with the blue version because as I said the main colors on this uh, whole like um, look are the Mm, are the orange and the blue so this one was a better match for this than I think than this one so yeah this is um, these are all my pins and buttons at my current Star Wars Ita bag I definitely would uh, change some if I get some new but um, like in case of Disney pins the Star Wars pins like are most often not very I don't let's say I don't like them there isn't like any of my favorite characters on there so I would just getting um, fantasy pins probably uh, but this is the current state I will uh, show you again all of this where, when it is in the back so yeah the front has um, the, the, so the clear plastic in the front also has some like glitter elements in there so it gives like the whole um, the whole look uh, like an even more glittery and, and shiny um, appearance so and I honestly I used um, these backpacks 
um, also like in my like normal life when I'm going out, going shopping, um, and not just for uh, wearing it on uh, conventions, which some other people tend to do, because I'm absolutely proudly wearing my fandoms in like in the wild, like outside, and yeah, it might be hurtful for other people to see that as it is in the name Eater Bag. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's caring because I think the color of this bag anyway is kind of uh, hurtful for some people anyway, so yeah. That's it for um, this video. I hope you enjoyed this um, uh, first look at one of my Eater bags and uh, hope you understood what Eater bags are. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye guys! Uh, may the force be with you! I almost forgot this, so bye!